This is the ambitious young Finn's third ever drive for the prestigious Lancia team since he signed for them at the beginning of the season. His two earlier outings in Portugal and Greece both ended in disastrous accidents, so Toivonen is desperately anxious to erase the memory and re-establish himself as a mature driver in the eyes of his illustrious team manager, Cesare Fiorio. It's not special upon this road. Down the road at the Nissan camp, British team manager Bob Freeborough supervises work on his two charges, driven by local hero Peter Gertle and rising British star Terry Cady. We had a problem two stages back when the gearbox stuck in fourth gear. So we had to do the rest of that stage stuck in fourth gear and it was a really fast stage. So we lost quite a bit of time. But the lads managed to change it in about 14 minutes, which was good. Uh, but the problem was uh, we had planned to do a routine strut change there. So now they're having to do that now. And they don't have as much time to do that as they'd planned to do it. So. But I think they'll get it done okay. So I hope so anyway. On his first ever visit to this difficult event, the fastest European rally in the World Championship, young toaster-based KB has had a splendid drive despite various mechanical setbacks and lies in a well-deserved 12th place as dusk falls on the final night. Sunday morning, and it's now routine for Vatanen. His lead of two minutes, one of the largest ever on this rally, is being comfortably maintained. The Peugeot on its way to its first World Championship win. Alain's desperate struggle with an increasingly outmoded two-wheel drive car has been in vain. But nevertheless, he finishes an excellent second. Toivonen's problems have been eradicated, and he finishes a delighted third, having overtaken Blomquist during the night. The Swede finishing the rally with only two-wheel drive. Juha Kankonen and Fred Gallagher bring their powerful Toyota Celica Turbo home in fifth place, having held off a determined fight back by Per Eklund and Dave Whitock in their Audi Quattro. First Nissan driver home is Erki Pitkonen in seventh place. Terry Cavey, partnered by Kevin Gormley, is delighted to finish in 12th place on his first Thousand Lakes rally. As the cars return to Uvascular at the end of this tough 1,300-kilometer event, Ari Vatanen, co-driven by Ireland's Terry Harriman, has re-established himself at the top of rallying's World Championship ladder. We didn't have any problems at all, so it was trouble-free run. And, um, the car was very good indeed, and it is very good, and so I'm sure that car will have a bright future. Last time I finished this rally was 77, so I've been putting the cars upside down, and uh, they've been breaking, and uh, <laughs> so it took seven years to get it. Henry Toivonen's youngster may have dropped the bottle, but there's no fear that Terry Harriman will let go of his, as he celebrates with Peugeot team manager Jean Tote this impressive victory. And by finishing fourth, Stig Blomquist, co-driven by fellow Swede Bjorn Sederberg, wins the 1984 Manufacturers' Championship for Audi. Two months later, as a result of his victory in the Ivory Coast, to add to his wins in Sweden, Greece, New Zealand and Argentina, Stig became the 1984 World Rally Champion.